Hey everybody, Last Outrider here, and we're about to hit up part three of the end times, the end times, the end times. What's happening now in the old world? Let's find out, shall we? The gods of chaos. For those who do not worship the gods of chaos, they are considered the great enemy, an implacable and unrelenting foe whose only desire is to see the mortal realm cast down as a part of their great game. If the gods of chaos are victorious, the Warhammer world will be unmade, reforged into an insane domain of untrammeled chaos, a nightmarish extension of the realm of the dark gods. Archeon is their chosen vessel, though which his great work will come through, through which... His, this great work will come to pass. Sorry about that. What about Nagash? Many of the events that take place in Glotkin overlap with those of Warhammer Nagash. And to gain a fuller understanding of the state of the world, it is a good idea to look at them side by side. The opening scenes in Warhammer Glotkin take place in spring of 2525, just as Archeon calls upon the brothers Glot to assail the Empire and break the stalemate at the Auric Bastion. At this point, far to the north, Nagash has risen and summoned his Mortarks and even sent some of them north to bolster the flagging old worlders already. And his conquest of the land of the dead is now well underway. <clears throat> Meanwhile, the closing moments of Glotkin, as Altdorf itself falls under attack, happens in the autumn of 2525. These fucked up events run parallel to Nagash's final subjugation of Nehekara and the humbling of Setra. So there's a connection. Death to the world. Here's a little snippet. <clears throat> Warhammer. Glodkin tells the story of Nurgle's invasion of the old world. But the power of chaos is being felt elsewhere in the old world. Already, Valkia, the bloody, has taken Archeon's cause into Nagaroth, leading a bloody horde of tribesmen, demons, and chaos warriors against the unsuspecting Dark Elves. Really? I thought the Dark Elves basically spent and have an entire group that spends nothing of but stare at the warp all day long isn't that what's the what the witch elves do the uh the hags or something all they do is literally stare at the warp all day all night and you're telling me they missed an army coming towards them they didn't see this developing well then i would say they suck <clears throat> While Malekith and his generals find themselves pressed by frenzied followers of Korn, in Lustria, the Lizardmen are once again locked in battle against their most ancient foes, as demons invade the mortal realm once more. As the great enemy attacks, Lustria, in numbers not seen in an age, the elves of Ulfwan feel their wrath too. With the Phoenix King dead, the elves must rally behind Prince Tyrion or face oblivion. Everywhere, among every land and people, the power of chaos is ascendant. The Warhammer world is doomed. And next, in part four, we will have the fall of Altdorf. See you then. Mm-hmm.